My name is Johanna Burton. I'm an art historian and critic based in New York City. And I'm sitting in Sharon Hayes' solo exhibition at the Whitney Museum. There's so much I want to say to you. Sharon's work for the last 15 years or so has been thinking about relationships between people and how relationships themselves are the producers of meaning. When you walk into the exhibition, what people will see are signs. They'll be immediately legible to people as things we've seen before. Real estate signs, handwritten messages of different kinds, political, personal. I think that when a viewer walks into this work, they experience a kind of silent cacophony. They are suddenly sort of engulfed by all of these different messages, which on their own are legible but in a group like this become competing messages and also cross-pollinating. The inspiration was a piece by Alan Caprow from 1961 called Yard. It consisted of an entire empty lot that was filled with black rubber tires and tar paper wrapped shapes. Really at once um, a kind of playful space but also a foreboding one. Sharon's take on the Caprau piece as part of a curatorial prompt by Helen Molesworth in 2009 was to think about public and private space, as she often does, and how those two spaces complicate one another. With written signs in particular, um, I think as opposed to um, spoken words, uh, what's interesting is that they stand sort of static, um, and so they would seem to be um, uh, kind of permanent, but of course what's, what's there and what people take away from them um, are often very different things. So in a way they're declarations, but they're not static after they, they begin to be received. For instance, here's a no U-turn sign. Normally you look at that sign, it's just a directive. You take a U-turn, you've broken the law, but how does it symbolize within these other signs? It starts to actually be really a kind of interesting, even poetic, um, I think, um, imperative uh, in, in the sense that you start to wonder what it means to take a U-turn among these other signs. Then there's also something very serious about the implication that people too inhabit these kinds of sign systems and how hard it is to actually get a conversation going. There's a real longing um, for, for discourse here and um, a kind of romantic, I think in the best sense, illustration of how oftentimes these things can't come together. How do we expect the far right and the far left to have a conversation, for instance? I don't think she's making it her job to make those conversations happen, but to show what happens in that space between.